Hey friends, what's up? It's a random day of the week and I'm about to make some lunch. I've got my partially opened box of pasta here. I wanted to come in before this vlog starts to say that this vlog has a lot of unboxings and a lot of hauls. You'll probably notice that from the title of the video, but yeah, there's just a lot. All of this happened in a short period of time and just it just worked out that way, but I'm sure it'll be a lot of fun, so stick around and check it out. And the regularly scheduled programming, the day-to-day -day and just the bits and pieces of the house progress will commence. I just wanted to come on and give that quick disclaimer and enjoy the vlog. I've been thinking about ways to kind of spruce up the kitchen space, mainly in the backsplash area because as you can see everything is kind of like the same. It's gray and then it's white and then it has some dark accents. So I want to do something with the backsplash area. I don't know what I want to do permanently because I might end up changing the whole kitchen space like long term. I was looking for a temporary fix for the backsplash and I found this. So I think this was actually on a BuzzFeed article. It was recommended on BuzzFeed and it's called stick goo. So it's basically just peel and stick wall tiles and you can put it wherever and as you can see most people put it in the kitchen and I don't know if you can see that but that's the texture of it right there. I can feel a little bit of a groove. I'm not sure what it actually feels like yet. I don't want to take it out of the container and kind of get it dirty just yet. So we'll see how this goes, but essentially what you do is clean your backsplash area on the in the kitchen and you just stick them on there and it should be quite simple. I saw photos on Amazon where other people kind of posted their kitchen and how it ended up looking. And it looked really, really great. So, fingers crossed that this kind of DIY project, I don't know if you call this DIY, but let's see if this project ends up working. This box has 10 sheets, so I got two boxes of it. So I have 20 sheets to work with. Um, wish me luck, I'll show you the end result if I end up getting to that point in this vlog. So this is kind of embarrassing, but I've had this box sitting on the floor in my kitchen since maybe the first two weeks of living here and um i should really be more on top of this but they are basically these little glass jars i think i've shown these before in a monthly favorites video but they're just glass jars with a wooden top with a vacuum seal top that goes like this and that's what it looks like very cute and slim and aesthetic and what they are are for spices for your kitchen so um, instead of having like a ton of different random containers plastic containers in your spice rack you can put them all in these jars and um, then you can make your own labels I've actually done a set before but I didn't do the second set which is why they've just been kind of sitting there but um, yeah, you can do your own labels. And um, if I can, I'll put a picture on the screen right now so that you can see what it looks like because um, I've already done some. But yeah, these have been sitting <laughs> in the shipping box that they came in and um, I just haven't acted upon them. So I'm taking them out now. They have like little plastic pieces, which it's a lot of plastic. Um, I didn't know that it was going to come in that way. Yeah, I'm just removing the plastic and I'm going to wash all of them because, of course, you should wash. They should be washed. And then I'm going to let them dry and then I will start filling them up with spices. And then I will make the labels. And by the way, I got these on Amazon. I actually got the first batch as a gift, as a housewarming gift and I realized that I needed another batch of them. So I just went and got another batch and they are pretty uh, good price. They're pretty affordable. So I'll link them in the description box. So I have you in an interesting spot and sorry if you can hear my AC. Um, it's just really hot today. It's like nearing 90 degrees. So we're doing a bit of an unboxing and I realize that I've done a lot of unboxings <laughs> in this particular vlog. That's not on purpose, it just happened that way and you can't really see the box, but 
it is by oh there you go Sunday and the Sunday is sort of like this curated lawn kind of subscription box I guess you can call it and our lawn to preface our lawn is looking horrid there are weeds everywhere um, it's patchy it's just it's just not looking good so we decided to go with uh, this box this Sunday box which I paid for 100% um, to see if it could help us salvage the lawn the front and the back so I'm gonna open it up we just received our first box I think the way that it works is that you pay like a yearly subscription and then you get two boxes a year and then you're like set to get your lawn looking fantastic throughout the year sort of like you know fixing but also maintaining it throughout the year oh it's heavy okay we have a bag here it looks like it looks like pet food but it's fescue rescue which is tall fescue grass seed blend i guess this is for like the patchy parts on the lawn let's see if i can put it next to me so you can see it oh, pollinator seed blend Eastern mix because we're on the East Coast. Okay, I did not expect to receive flower seeds. It says it's for bees, butterflies, and birds, which is good if you think about it because they won't nip at the the lawn itself. Um, so that's the branding on the front. Let's yarn better. It also says get growing on the top and it is tailored just for my yard. So like I was saying, um, when it's curated for your yard specifically, we put in our address and it was able to analyze the environment, the climate, the soil, and everything in this area. So let's go with the first thing here. It looks like a bag, some plastic, not my favorite, but um, it's basically lawn and garden nutrients. And this is to make it strong, make the lawn strong. And what's also cool about these bottles is that I believe with the attachment right here there's going to be some nozzle attachments that you can just connect this whole bottle onto your hose oh yep exactly that we got some nozzle attachments these look like if i were to just spray it using my hand i think there should be more attachments in here okay another another bag of liquid we have mighty green um more lawn and garden nutrients so i guess this is going to do something slightly different than the other one. This says Weed Warrior Grass and Weed Killer, which is super, super um, something that we need. We literally saw the bees this morning um, have an at it at the lawn um, because there's just so many weeds and they're just hopping over to each one, which I'm glad for the bees, but my lawn looks horrible. This one is called Dandelion Doom Selective Weed Killer. We have a lot of dandelions. It looks like, okay, lawn starter kit. I don't know what this is. So more nozzle attachments. So this says save me for reuse and I'm pretty sure the way that these nozzles are set up, you add the bag onto it. I don't know how, we'll find out when I, when I use it for the first time, but you add the bag and then you can spray water and this concentrate at the same time which i think is really really cool oh there's more um oh i have no idea what this is gonna do oh you know what this might be for like testing the soil oh yeah here we go soil test kit so i'm going to send a sample exactly with this thing we have some papers here so i'm going to read through the instructions but we have the nozzle attachments the soil test kit we have these two bags of solution that can attach to those nozzles. We have grass seed, and then we have these two weed killers, which I think is quite a lot and quite the essential starter kit. Sunday, that's the name of the company, not sponsored. I'll let you know if this does anything to salvage our lawn. So I'm back on the floor. I'm back in the same spot, and I swear it's not intentional. And this delivery is from, I hope I can, show you oh can you see it's from thrive market so a little bit of a grocery haul here i haven't ordered from thrive market in a while but i had some discounts so you know it's already discounted as is with thrive market so why not take the extra and by the way i'm not sponsored with thrive market or anything like that i've done a review on them in the past but that's all based off my own experience and paying my own money. Starting from the top, we've got some onion powder. 
I mentioned before, I have those glass jars where I fill up the spices, so I'm just gonna put this in one of those. Super convenient that they do it this way too. Um, yellow mustard seed powder. I know this is a strange spice to have, but I think it tastes really good in my vegan tofu egg salad, and I haven't had it in a while, so I went and got some of that. Then we've got, looks like they're doing some more plastic packaging. Um, kind of sucks that they have to do that, but I think it has to do with spills. Organic peanut butter creamy. We are running out of peanut butter, so I got some. It feels super creamy. I know. <laughs> Sorry, that's a little weird, but it feels really creamy. Um, and then we've got some vegan mayo. This was on sale on top of the sales that I have on Thrive Market, so could not pass that up. A huge bottle. Look at the size of this thing huge bottle of liquid aminos which is like a soy sauce alternative stuff me up also got some vegan parmesan style cheese like you know that dry parmesan cheese that you typically get this stuff tastes so good it makes a huge difference in like salads and pastas we got some pasta i love banza it's my favorite pasta i got the rigatoni i'm gonna do like a baked ziti with this i got so many things y'all and because of all the discounts i paid less than 50 dollars for this box i'll tell you i'll be honest with you i paid like 30 dollars for this entire box thrive market organic marinara it looks good there's like specks of garlic in there yum organic wild blueberry spread we've been obsessed with jam and kite hill cream cheese or trader joe's vegan cream cheese on a bagel. We've been doing that like every Saturday, so I stocked up on this, and it's wild blueberry is my favorite, so I picked up that one. Got some Noble Made Medium Buffalo Sauce. This one we used to get so often at Whole Foods because that was the only place that we could find it, and it's really delicious, but it's super expensive at Whole Foods, and of course, when I saw it on Thrive Market for a fraction of the price, I had to get it. Good on buffalo chicken like vegan chicken uh pizza gotta try it coconut sugar that is the main sugar that we use in the house we don't use it often but um it's always good to have also got a huge bag i mean seriously huge bag of nutritional yeast it's bigger than my head um so this is gonna last me a good while oh i'm so excited about that all right Got some Dandy's marshmallows. These are vegan marshmallows. I picked up some graham crackers and chocolate uh, while I was at the grocery store and while I was waiting for this. So now I can make some vegan s'mores. Very excited. I've actually never had Dandy's marshmallows before, so super excited. Oh my gosh, I got two of them. I forgot that I got two of them. Okay, so that was it. As you can see, I've got a lot here. I got 14 items, y'all. 14 items for $30. Like, seriously, that's how much I paid. $30 for all of this stuff over here. I got, look at the size of this bag. Like, if you went to Whole Foods or if you went to a health food store to get nutritional yeast, which you usually have to go and do, this would have been like $30 <laughs> and I got all of this for $30 so I am always so impressed and happy with my Thrive Market purchases.